everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we have an asus laptop this is an asus x 519 m series the exact model for this one that you can find on the back bottom side of the laptop it's an x 519 ma br 407 ts that's a pretty long number anyway in this video i'm gonna cover up how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the storage they usually come out, they've been shipped out with 128 gig and they don't last longer because they have a low capacity and low grade SSD that they give you. You can upgrade this uh, laptop up to two terabyte with no issue. I don't know why Asus keeps saying it that maximum you can go is 500 gig or 256. That's not true. They do use the M.2 NVMe PCI Express lane that can handle up to four terabyte, no issue. But the only reason that you can't put a 4 terabyte NVMe is because of the thickness of the uh, M.2s, the stick. But you can go up to 2 terabyte with no issue, and we have upgraded this one. I'm going to go over which SSDs are really recommended and how to do it. Just remember, once you replace the main SSD with a new one, you're not going to have any operating system on the new SSDs, on the new storage. So you have to install your Windows, freshly installed from the USB drive, and make sure you do your Windows update and back up your files before you do anything. And just remember, I made a video, short video, how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in a video description in case you wanted to create your own. And I made another video, how to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 properly on your laptop. Also, if you guys, I get lots of comments, people keep, keep saying, people keep saying, how about my Windows license key, anything like that? Regarding license key, before you format, log in uh, with your Microsoft account on your Windows, go Windows settings account and uh, link your Microsoft account to your Windows. Once you link it, the product key will be related to your, uh, will be linked into your email account. So once you format this one and, and you put your Windows in Microsoft account in the Hotmail account back in the Windows, is gonna automatically activate your original license. All right, with all that said, let's go ahead and open it up and do the replacement. First thing first, back up your files, turn off the laptop, and grab yourself the new SSD. In this case, the client brought it in their own SSD, which is a low quality ADATA, uh, ADATA 256 gig. I recommend you highly to grab yourself a Samsung uh, SSDs, Samsung uh, Plus or Samsung uh, Pro versions, the Pros, they are really premium, they will last you many, many years, and they have a really long durability. So I recommend you Samsung Pro, or you go Samsung Plus, which is this one right over here. But if not, if you want to go with a cheap budget, remember they don't last many years, they have a really bad quality, which this one, the client brought it in, which is an uh, ADATA. They are not bad quality, they are good, they are just more economic uh, quality. All right, with all that said, we're gonna grab ourselves the screwdriver set. We're gonna be using an iFixit screwdriver set. We are gonna be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, on the bottom of the laptop, there's gonna be a whole bunch of screws. There are three types of screws, the short ones, the medium ones in the middle, and the long ones at the back. Keep them in a different piles. So I started removing the short ones in the front. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful, helping you guys to do your own upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, this laptop, it is missing one in the middle. So I removed that too. Once you removed all the screws, you wanna grab your opening tool, you wanna shove it right between the bottom power and the palm rest, just like that, okay? And then you just wanna twist it like that and make sure you hear those click sounds. You wanna do that all around in the front end. Go to the side and left and right where the fan Entrance is right there. 
Once you do the sides and the front, you want to grab it from front end and just wiggle it around and it will release the back side automatically. All right. Down here, we're going to see the battery, the SSD M.2, and there's going to be a whole empty spot right here. In a different models, they do give you a 2.5 inch hard drives you can install in here. But in this one, they haven't give you the adapter. The adapter goes from here all the way to here. So if you want to install a, another SSD drive over here, you need to find the right correct adapter with a long cable. I'll try to find that one. I'll leave it in the video description. You need a very slim adapter through there and the cable has to come up, go right through this jack. And that way you can install a, another 2.4 inch mechanical drive or a, a solid state drive you can put up to two terabyte here and keep your m.2 at the same time but that's um, something you might want not want to do you just want to get a bigger storage right here and that'll be fine to remove this one you don't need to remove the battery at all it's absolutely not necessary to remove the battery just go ahead and remove this single screw right on at the back of the ssd and then all you want to do, you want to pull it back in this, just pull it back. Don't lift it up, otherwise you're going to break the SSD. Pull it back like this one. This is a 128 gig SSD. So you can see it's all empty here. There's only one NAT chip right there. It's, everything is empty. There's nothing here. Yeah. And we're going to grab ourselves the new SSD. In this case, this one, and we can see right away, this one has much more storage chip right here. So the degrades much slower. So grab the new one, make sure the notch on the SSD matches the notch right on the dim. Bring it down in 15 degree, all the way to the slot. And you want to push it towards the motherboard and you want to make sure the screw hole is nice and matching right beside it. And then you want to grab this screw and it squares right over, just like that. And once you put it right over, if you have disconnected the battery, connect it back in, but you don't need to. Anyway, grab the bottom cover, put it straight over, and push the side down. Make sure you hear that click sound. Okay, it's very important. And put the front screws. Put the side screws. Now that should be all. If you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up these bottom screws.